Hello, it was just a quick overview, real quick, of how to get started in HLS. HLS, for some reason, uh, bothers a lot of people to just to get started. Uh, getting started is not that hard. Uh, it's just, you know, if you've never done it before, it is a little bit rough to figure out. So we're going to go through some real quick uh, ways of getting you at least up and running where you can put some cues in the queue line. I won't be going over the visualizer or uh, face animation or anything. It's just going to be a real basic uh, intro so you can get up and running and see what's going on. Okay, so uh, all the information in HOS is at doityourselfchristmas.com and you go to their wiki and you, you can just uh, in the search mode just type HLS and go. Alright, that'll bring up the uh, the page for the user's manual, that type of stuff, such as it is. It's still being worked on. There's a lot of things that you know, have changed, but uh, it gives you a real good basis to get started. It also gives you uh, how to install it for Windows and Linux. Don't know anything about Linux, but, you know, there you go. Okay, and the frequency, uh, frequently asked questions. Um, you know, you can go to the downloads, and it'll take you, or you can make a PDF manual, print it out. Uh, or you can go to HLS Forms on uh, DIYC, Do It Yourself Christmas. So if you just click Downloads, it'll take you to where all the downloads for HLS is. And, you know, it'll, it'll also give you some more information as, you know, what to do and how to do it and all this other good stuff. Uh, and logos, getting started. Um, let's see, we, we go down to, you can usually find the latest. Well, large, small. There we go. HLS install. Normally, you'll go ahead and get, uh, you know, the highest number and letter that you can find, and that's the latest. And it'll give you a date over here. You know, you click on this and download it. Then you unzip it and unzip it into the HLS folder, and you're you know, you're, you're basically ready to go. Okay, so that gives you an idea how to at least find some information on it. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Now I've gone, uh, I've already got my Windows Explorer open. And it's in, uh, it's in my G, uh, G drive under HLS sequences. I made a special, I made a separate folder for that. Uh You'll find right in here, right here, is where the uh, where the program is, and all these up here, are all the, all the programs or all the sequences that I have for different different songs that I've already done. Okay, so what you want to do is is uh, right click on this and run as administrator. If you don't run as administrator, it'll do some strange things. And it'll ask you if you want to download a new, new version, if, uh, or it'll check if there's a new version out there. If there is, you need to download it or not. Uh, right now, I'm not going to download the new one. All right, so we start out with a nice blank screen here. And we're going to uh, create a file. And it'll just be start. Uh, start new sequencing sequence and I'll walk you through it through the steps okay do I have a wave file uh, I would suggest doing all of your files in wave not an mp3 because not all mp3s are created equal okay so some mp3s just won't work and it's the same with LR or you'll get some funky little things happening along the way so I just always I always just convert everything to uh, mp3 audacity 
there's uh there's a few you know free converters that you can get out there okay so i do have a do have a song and uh and basically i'll create a folder and it'll, so it'll create a folder to put this sequence in it'll keep all your sequences separate for you so what we need to do is just uh, name the folder and I'll just name this uh, test one and we'll hit OK and now you're ready to identify your song and uh, click yes to load song click no to not load song you can make an animation too but I have never done that so I can't tell you really what goes on with that so anyway we'll select a wave file mines and music and we'll go down here, something I know is a wave. Uh, uh, Firefly's Russian. Well, uh, you can either double click on this or just uh, click on it and then open. It'll take a little bit for it to come back. If you have a slow computer, this will take a while. Don't be concerned, it will come back. All right, just say, I'm done, return. You see your wave files up here. You know, if you play it. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but anyway, it would it'll play the file right here. So you're up you're kind of up and running already. Okay, we got to get some channels to sequence in here. So the first thing we'll do is go to manage channels. Manage raw channels. And we're gonna add. Let's just add twenty channels. And we click add. And it was wants to name the channels. So what it'll do, I'm going to add 20 channels and uh, I'm going to name it Roofline. Okay. So now if you see, you got Roofline 0001 through 20. 1 through 20. Okay. Now these are going to be RB RGB channels. So what I do is I click on the first one. Uh, remain clicking on it, drag this down to, you know, whatever last channel, whatever channels, how many ever channels you want. And you can also drag it up or, you know, whatever. If you make, you know, if, if once you have a bunch of channels in here, if you go over, you know, you can always go, just go back up and figure out where, uh, where your last channel is. Okay. Now we're going to have to set the selection RGB flags and that'll set each one of these channels to actually three channels and it'll make the count for you okay so we'll set those flags you don't worry about your universes right now don't worry about anything that's done a little later okay so we're done with changes on this still don't have anything up here that's where that's when most people get frustrated what we have to do next is uh, uh, let's see, select channels and assign to a display group. Okay, you gotta have something, you gotta call it something. So we'll come in here, you'll see the roof line is all here and so forth. We're gonna select these guys and we'll hit check. Now we're gonna name this group. What is this group? So we're gonna just call it roof line. So if you get a tree, you make a tree, uh, mini trees, out, you know, outlines, whatever, you'll have all these different groups, and you can include, you can have, you can have uh, the same channels in different groups if you want to. It's not a big, not a big problem. So okay, so we're gonna save the changes to that. Now what we're gonna do is come down here. We'll finally get something on the screen. Yeehaw! Okay, we select the display group to work on. That's roof line. That'll be our 20 channels. And guess what? There we go. Now it always comes up in this resolution. Uh, time res 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 nah, resolution, I always leave it 50 milliseconds right now because that's what, uh, that's what X lights usually had. Uh, but they're changing with S X lights for, they're going to, they, you could be able to do 25 milliseconds, which will give you a little more. Uh, flexibility as far as getting things exactly on beat. 
Okay, so I always switch to, you know, the fine grid. Well, now we'll see. You got roof line all the way here. So basically, now you're up and running. You're ready to play. Uh, you, you won't have any visualizer, and you won't have won't be able to output the display. I'll cover that, or it's been covered already, but hopefully I'll make another video. Quick video how to show that. Nothing's quick, so. <laughs> all right, so. Let's just say we want to do uh we want to do at one second you uh now I get my left and right confused a lot so you'll have to bear with me on that okay so you left click right here on your first and you want all 20 channels to be included so you left click oh you you just click on it you don't hold it down all right so now you just drag this, you know, however you want. I'm not holding it down. I'm not doing anything. It'll it'll do this all by itself. And it'll continue doing that until you get to the spot that you want to do. So we'll make this a half a, a, half a second little little uh, effect. You, you uh, left click on it again. Now it's selected. It just won't go anywhere. Whatever. Now if we just wanted just this to be red, we could do it. Green, we could do it blue we could do it we can also change these colors by the color box right here click on it you go down here and well we'll just go to the color palette and we could click that right there and it would be fine click OK and OK now this this whatever you click in here level ramp up ramp down or custom which is another thing we'll we'll cover and it has been covered before uh, but this there again is just the basic. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to uh, ramp this up in purple. Okay, that gives us a ramp up. Now, if we want to make a quick chase, oh, okay. Uh, if you just left click on the front of the panel. This will move anywhere you want it to move. Won't up and move up and down, but it'll move horizontally anywhere you want. Okay, so then you click it again, that releases it. If you click on the rear end of it, you can extend it or make it smaller. You can do whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so that's you know that's really kind of cool right there. So if you're off just a you know 50 milliseconds or you know. A fraction of a second you just move it one or two or whatever same same here if you're off just a little bit you can make it you know just move it down a little bit so it's really fine-tuned it's real easy to do okay so we're gonna make a chase real quick uh, first thing you do is now because if you just click on this it's gonna move it if you just left click on it click it again to release it but if you hold control down and left click, you notice you get your box, your selection box. Okay, so we just go down here and we select all of these. Okay, now if you right click, it'll bring up this whole bunch of stuff which you can do all kinds of things. And I'll go into a few of these in a little bit, but not right now. In fact, I'll probably just wait. This is just basic. Okay, anyway, we'll display HLS toolbar. Now I have two screens on this, on my sequencing computer, so uh, I have to drag it back over. But this is this is what it'll come with, up with. All right. So now what we want to do, we want to make a chase. So we're going to say pull chase corner. Come up down here and we'll grab it right here and pull it. It'll do, you know, it'll go as long as you want, and so forth. And you can do that with, with any corner. There's, you know, that. And once you have them pulled, it's hard to get them back in line, but, you know, so kind of know what you're going to do before you do it. Pull chase corner. And so we can, we can do it any way we want. All right, so. Let's say we just want to make a real quick chase here. And we'll get them all relatively even. There we go. And say, so we've, now we've got a chase. 
All right, this brings it up, then it brings it back down, and it brings it off. Okay, and that's not what, you know, that's really not what we want to do. So what we want to do here is copy this. So if you do a control C, now you'll see this box move over here. That's going to be a copy of this. Okay. So if you left click, that'll be there. Do a control V and that'll put a copy there. Click again. You can make as many of these as you want. Uh, make another one. Click, Control V. Click, Control V. And you know you can do it. You can do that all day long if you want to. Okay, your best friend in HLS is Escape. If you ever get you know gets locked up or whatever, sometimes it lock up and you have to restart it. But very seldom. It's getting better all the time. So just hit Escape a couple of times. And now if you click over here, you know, you'll get, you'll be back to your normal thing. And I'll hit escape, and that releases it. So we'll just get rid of these guys. What I'll do is uh, control, left click, select them all, and hit delete key. All right. So that gets rid of those. So what we want to do now is make this to where it goes up. Then we want it to stay on for a little bit, and then we want to take it back down. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I think I, I need a little more room, so I'm going to come over here, grab this guy, and we're going to move selection. And let's just move it out of the way for right now. Okay. So escape. So this is another little fun thing to do. Uh, hit a control. Left click, select. Now I could I could put it clear over here. In fact, I'll do that. Okay. Now if you right click within the box, it'll come up with all these things you can nifty things you can do with it. Um. Uh, let's see. Perform action on 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 selected group. Okay. So you can do all kinds of stuff. You can chase the group, which is in this box. Some of these tools are duplicated. You can clip the right side. Uh, now, this is what I want to do. I want to fill in here with just purple. Okay, so we're going to hit that. And you can fill to the left side. Uh, to do all kinds of cool stuff with this right here. So it's as simple as clicking that right there, and it'll fill in this box. However, however big you box, did this box on to the right side, it'll fill that in. Okay. So now we've got that. We say, well, yeah, that's that's kind of cool. All right, but now we want it to chase and fade out. So we're going to come over here, and uh, you know, if we just move this. Selected here. If we just move this, you'll notice that you know it's not going to. Oops, I gotta hit move. Now I'm not, you know, I'm not holding down the left key or anything. It just, you know, it does that until you click it again. All right, so you know I've got it messed up now. In LOR, you have to go out to Clipboard Manager, Clipboard Flipper, and uh, in HLS, it's a lot easier. All you've got to do is uh, flip horizontal selection box and there you go okay so now what it'll do is it'll you know it fades up waits a little bit now it'll fade down all right so uh, you know that'll work if we want to fill this in let's escape fill this in make us a selection box here we can right click and uh, we'll do a perform action and we'll fill to the right. Well, no, we'll fill to the left. <laughs> Told you I get screwed up with that. Okay, so we'll fill it up to the left of the selection. Oops, not click, fill. Okay, now now we've got now we've got what we want. You know, and if we wanted to uh, uh, 
just make instead of making it a pyramid upside down pyramid shape we could make it you know go out the same way it went in hit escape uh let's see uh, control control left click okay and now we'll right click on this and what we'll do now is uh we'll uh flip vertical so now it'll be this will go on and this will just go out the same way this came on so that's kind of a you know kind of a cool thing to do um so anyway you know you're up and running uh do some small you know tests and then read some and so forth learn how to you can with hls you can't quite uh I'll put the lights immediately like LR. You know, you'll have to have this this box checked. I always engage my grid. And you'll have to set up your outputs to go out to your lights. But once that's set up, it's set up for all your sequences. So it's not really all that bad, and that'll be covered in another video, or other people have covered that. Anyway, at least get something on the screen for you you can play with. So, you know, have fun with it. Take care.